If your Mac ever feels a little too bright, too tiny, or just harder to use than it should be, it's not you, it's your settings. Hidden inside every Mac are features that can instantly make it easier, calmer, and way more personal. But here's the part most people miss. They're tucked away under something called accessibility, so hardly anyone turns them on. In this video, I'll show you eight simple settings that quietly transform your Mac into a smoother, softer, version of itself. Suddenly, everything feels clearer. Text is comfortable to read, the screen is gentle on your eyes, and moving around just feels natural. And don't worry, you don't need to be techie to do this. Every setting I'll show you is simple to do and takes less than a minute to turn on. This is Soft Switch, where we make Apple aesthetic simple and stress-free. And if you're still getting used to your Mac after switching from Windows, make sure to check out my beginner playlist for Windows to Mac switchers right after this video. Let's start with the first feature, display, zoom, and text size. If you've ever found yourself leaning closer to your Mac just to read a line of text or opening your browser a little wider because things look too small, this first setting is going to change your day. Go to system settings, then accessibility. Here you'll see two simple but powerful options, display and zoom. Start with display, then text size. Drag the slider slowly until everything feels comfortable to read, not big and bulky just pleasantly clear. You'll notice that app menus, sidebars, and system text all scale up gently to match. It's like putting on a pair of glasses designed for your screen. Next, try Display Zoom. This setting subtly enlarges every element on your display from where your mouse pointer is, from icons to buttons, without reducing clarity. Go to Zoom, toggle on, use trackpad gestures to zoom. After this, you can double tap with three finger to zoom or double Double tap with three finger and drag for zoom options. You can also choose from different zoom style like split screen, full screen, or picture in picture. I prefer the full screen style. If this step already makes your screen feel easier on your eyes, go ahead and tap like right now. It tells YouTube that you enjoy calm, helpful Mac tutorials like this one, and it really helps more people find these simple tips. Now that everything on your screen looks cleaner and more readable, let's make sure you can navigate it easily too, because the next setting fixes one of the most frustrating everyday Mac moments, losing your cursor. You know that tiny moment of panic when your cursor disappears, especially if you're juggling tabs, using an external monitor, or editing something detailed? That's exactly what this next setting is designed to fix. Go to System Settings, then Accessibility, and select Display. From there, scroll down to Pointer. Here, you'll find a simple slider that lets you adjust the size of your cursor. Try making it just slightly larger. Not cartoon big, but big enough that your eyes catch it instantly wherever it moves. You'll notice right away how much smoother navigation feels. While you're there, turn on Shake Mouse Pointer to locate. This little option might become your favorite. Whenever your cursor seems lost, simply move your mouse or trackpad quickly for a second. The pointer will grow larger and reappear immediately. It's such a simple thing, but it saves you from breaking focus again and again throughout the day. And this isn't just about convenience, it's also about comfort. A more visible pointer reduces visual strain and minimizes those subtle micro pauses that interrupt your concentration, especially when multitasking or switching between apps. If this already made your Mac feel a little more intuitive, take a second to subscribe. I share calm, beginner-friendly tutorials just like this to help you make your Mac feel smoother, simpler, and uniquely yours. Next, let's talk about movement because dragging files and windows shouldn't feel like a workout for your fingers. If you've ever tried to drag a file or move a window and found yourself pressing down awkwardly on your trackpad, this next tip will feel like magic. It's called trackpad dragging. And once you turn 
it on, you'll never want to go back. Here's how to enable it. Go to system settings, then accessibility, then pointer control and select trackpad options. Turn on use trackpad for dragging, then under dragging style, choose with drag lock. This allows you to double tap on a file to lock it, then swipe to move it even after lifting your finger. It feels smooth and precise, perfect for when you're organizing your desktop, rearranging folders or editing images. Once you get used to it, dragging and moving things on your Mac feels Feels completely effortless. Now try it. Instead of pressing down to click and hold, just glide your finger across the trackpad to move anything, a document, an image, even a window. When you lift your fingers, double tap again, it releases. Simple, smooth, and effortless. It's especially helpful if you spend a lot of time moving files around, organizing folders, or working in design apps where dragging elements is constant. It's also easier on your wrist since you're not pressing or gripping every few seconds. The difference is subtle but powerful. Now that we've made movement easier, let's calm things down visually. If you find these first three settings already making your Mac easier to use, wait until you see the rest. The next few are all about creating a smoother, calmer experience that helps your eyes, your focus, and your overall comfort. But before we continue, take a quick second to like this video if it's helping you make your Mac easier to use. It really supports the channel and helps more people discover these simple tips. Also, if you're still figuring out the basics, definitely check out my beginner windows to Mac playlist after this video. All right, let's get back into it. Have you ever noticed how macOS has little animations everywhere? Windows sliding, icons bouncing, menus fading. It all looks beautiful, but after hours of use, it can start to feel a bit busy. This next feature, helps with that. It's designed to make your screen calmer, cleaner, and easier on the eyes. Go to system settings, then accessibility and open display. Here, turn on reduce motion and reduce transparency. Immediately, you'll notice that app windows stop swooping across the screen, transitions become smoother, and backgrounds look more solid instead of slightly see-through. It might seem like a small visual change, but it has a surprise surprisingly big effect on how your Mac feels, especially when you're working for long stretches or switching between apps frequently. Reducing motion keeps your focus steady, which is great if you're sensitive to fast transitions or just prefer a calmer visual rhythm. Turning down transparency also makes text easier to read because your background no longer bleeds through menus or sidebars. If you want even sharper visibility, try turning on increased contrast in the same section. It strengthens outlines and button edges, so everything stands out just enough without losing the soft Apple look. You'll find that after a while, your screen feels more grounded, less flicker, less distraction, more flow. And the best part is it all happens quietly in the background, letting you focus on your work or creativity without constant motion, pulling your attention away. Now that your screen feels calm and steady, let's make your workflow feel just as effortless. In the next setting, you'll learn how to control your Mac completely hands-free, perfect for multitasking, staying in flow, or giving your wrists a well-deserved break. If you ever find yourself typing for hours and your hands start to ache, or if you just wish you could capture ideas faster without stopping to type, this next feature will change how you work. Your Mac can actually listen, type, and even follow commands for you. It's called voice control and dictation. To turn it on, go to system settings, then accessibility and select voice control. Toggle it on and your Mac will start listening for voice commands. You can open apps, search the web, or even edit text just by speaking naturally. For example, say open notes or scroll down and it does exactly that instantly. For writing or taking quick notes, enable dictation under system settings, then keyboard, then dictation. Once it's on, just double tap the function FN key or say start dictation and your words will appear as you speak. You can even add punctuation by voice, like saying comma, period, or new line. 
This is perfect for those moments when your hands are busy, when you're cooking, doing your skincare routine, or simply taking a break from typing. It also helps you capture ideas in the moment. No friction, no typing delay. And here's a small tip. If you use notes or pages for journaling or planning, try speaking your thoughts instead of typing them. It's faster, more personal, and sometimes you'll find your ideas flow even better when you're not focused on spelling or formatting. Now that your Mac can listen to you, let's make it easier on your eyes too. The next feature automatically adjusts your screen throughout the day, so it always feels soft and soothing, especially during during late night work sessions. You know that harsh, cool light your screen gives off late at night, the kind that feels a little too bright no matter how low you set the brightness? This next feature fixes that automatically. Go to System Settings, then Displays, then look for Night Shift and True Tone. These two settings work together to make your screen easier on your eyes, no matter the time of day. Let's start with True Tone. When you turn it on, your Mac automatically adjusts the color of your screen to match the lighting around you. So if you're working in a bright room, your screen stays crisp and clear. If you move into a softer, dimmer space, the tones shift subtly to stay natural and comfortable. It's like your display is adapting to the environment, the way paper looks different under sunlight versus a lamp. If you're someone who loves the aesthetic of a softly glowing workspace at night, you'll fall in love with this setting. It's such a simple change, but it completely transforms how your Mac feels after sunset. If this feature already made your display feel more relaxing, go ahead and like this video. Video. It helps more people discover little settings like this that make their Mac experience feel gentler and more intentional. This next one might quietly become your new favorite feature, especially if you spend long hours reading on your Mac. It's called Spoken Content, and it allows your Mac to read text out loud to you in a clear, natural voice. Go to System Settings, then Accessibility Select Spoken Content. Here, turn on Speak Selection. You can choose with voice you want to listen to. Then use the shortcut Option Plus Escape to instantly make your Mac read whatever text you've highlighted. Try it with an email, a note, or even an article you've been meaning to read. Once you press your shortcut, your Mac starts reading it aloud, sentence by sentence, while you sit back, stretch, or even tidy your desk. It's perfect for when your eyes need a break or when you just want to keep learning while you're doing something else. You can customize the voice and speed too. If you prefer a softer tone, choose one of Apple's natural voices and slow it slightly for a more relaxed listening experience. This final setting is all about how your Mac feels. The little sensory details details that make it pleasant to use every single day. Go to system settings, then sound, select sound effects. Here, you can choose softer alert tones and reduce the volume of system sounds so they're gentle rather than jarring. Turn off anything that feels sharp or repetitive. Your notifications should whisper, not shout. Next, go to system settings, then trackpad, then point and click. Enable force click and haptic feedback. Click and haptic feedback controls how your trackpad responds when you press down. On a Mac with a force touch trackpad, you can press once to click and press a little deeper to force click, which opens quick actions like file previews, definitions, or link previews. Together, these two features create a sensory balance. If you work in a calm space, use headphones, or simply prefer quiet focus, these small tweaks make a huge difference. And here's a quick bonus tip. In the sound effects section, you can also disable the play user interface sound effects option completely for an even quieter workspace, perfect for late nights or deep work sessions. Now for something extra special, background sounds. Go to system settings, then accessibility, then audio, and turn on background sounds. Here you can choose from peaceful options like rain, stream, or ocean. 
These play softly in the background and blend beautifully with your workspace. They help mask noise, reduce stress, and create a calm, focused zone. It's a hidden gem, perfect for deep work, journaling, or winding down at night. With these final adjustments, your Mac becomes something more than just a computer. It's quiet, intuitive, and tuned to your pace. If these subtle touches made your Mac feel calmer and more satisfying to use, don't forget to like this video. It helps more people find simple ways to create a stress-free workspace too. Now that we've made your Mac feel smoother and more personal, let's finish with a quick bonus section. I'll show you one last group of settings and gestures that make your daily workflow faster, cleaner, and even more intuitive. Now that your Mac feels calmer, softer, and easier on your eyes and hands, let's finish by adding a touch of efficiency and flow. These aren't technically accessibility settings, but they work beautifully alongside everything we've just done. They're called quick gestures, shortcuts, and hot corners, and they turn your Mac into something that moves as fast as you think. Start with trackpad gestures. Go to system settings, then trackpad. Here, explore gestures like swiping up with three fingers for mission control to instantly see all your open windows, swiping left or right with three fingers to switch between desktops or full screen apps, pinching with your thumb and three fingers to return to the desktop. Once you get used to these movements, you'll hardly ever use your dock or menu bar again. Your Mac will respond to your fingertips like second nature, fast, fluid, and satisfying. Next, check out keyboard shortcuts under system settings, then keyboard, then select shortcuts. Some of my favorites are command plus space to open spotlight instantly, command plus tab to switch between your recent apps, command plus shift plus four to take a quick screenshot of a selected area. You don't need to memorize all of them. Just start with two or three that save you the most time. Within a few days, you'll feel the difference. And finally, hot corners. You'll find them under system settings, then desktop and dock, select hot corners. Assign quick actions to any corner of your screen, like showing your desktop, opening mission control, or putting your Mac to sleep. It's one of those tiny hidden features that instantly makes Mac OS feel personalized and efficient. If you're new to these, and want to see exactly how they work, I walk through each one step-by-step step in my video. Switching to Mac is easier than you think. It's perfect for anyone still adjusting from Windows. And if you're still exploring and want to feel completely at home with your Mac, don't miss the beginner playlist for Windows to Mac switchers. It's linked below and it's designed to help you master every basic, from organizing files to customizing your dock, all at your own pace. Each of these small features builds on everything you learned today. Together, they save you time, reduce frustration, and help your Mac feel like it was designed just for you. If this video helped make your Mac calmer and easier to use, give it a like or hype. This is Soft Switch, where we make Apple aesthetic, simple, and stress-free. See you in the next one. <laughs>